I have been meaning to do a video on this channel about art for a really long time. In fact, a whole series, once a day till the end of the month on this glorious April 1st, I'm gonna talk openly and honestly about art for the next month, right? And I've been putting that off. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. I've been making excuses. I gotta cut my hair and wait for the third era of my channel first before I can do this. Because if I do this, then it's, it's gotta be just right before I do this. And I need this and I need that in place. I need it all in place. And it's gotta be this perfect magnum opus emergence, blooming of, of truth within the, within, the, within the darkness. And um, it's resistance. That's called resistance. It's this idea that when you wanna do something, anything you wanna do, you will keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, finding a million reasons, a million excuses. The universe will conspire to stop you from doing what you need to do. And it won't be the universe's fault, it'll be yours. I have seen this time and time again with blocked artists. They say they wanna do something and then they come up with insane, illogical excuses for why they can't do it. Like things that don't make any sense just because they're afraid. Fair enough, by the way, it's terrifying. And I am not through it. I'm not even a little through it. I'm not even sure I'm better at dealing with it. Like after years of getting over it sometimes and being defeated by it sometimes, I'm not sure I'm better at doing it. Like I'm not claiming any, any kind of <laughs> moral high ground or anything. It sucks. You have to beat it every day. Every day you need to defeat it. If you're going to be making, you know, if you're making art that is actually pushing you, then you have to defeat resistance every day. And it doesn't even necessarily get easier. So that's the, that's the good news. Um, ugh. The good news is that we're all, we all deal with this. And uh, you shouldn't romanticize, you know, any kind of artist. Oh, it's so easy for him. Oh, oh he, I bet he's figured it out. No, he hasn't. He, uh, you know, he's gotta, you still have to, beat that hump every day. And I lose all the time. It's kind of crazy how much I lose. But I can say that the only really relevant piece of advice when talking about making art is to just do it. Do the art. Do the thing that you're not doing. Because you're not doing it anymore, are you? Why aren't you doing it anymore? Just do it. That's it. Everything else is irrelevant. We're going to be talking about a lot of really interesting topics on this channel, you know? We're going to be talking about uh, artist identity and uh, web series, and uh, you know, stories and mediums, and all that cool stuff. But in terms of raw advice that I can give you right now, it's the advice that I needed to hear about this very series, which is just do it. You will figure it out as you are doing it. The muse will hit you as you are doing it. It's not about the planning phase. It's not about the philosophy phase. You know how many people have emailed me saying, hey, after I write my book, do you want to read it? Or hey, after my YouTube channel has 10,000 subscribers, do you want to come on it? Don't worry about emailing someone for their philosophy. Don't worry about getting someone to validate what you're doing. Just, ah, you're not gonna know anything. They don't know anything. I don't know anything. You just gotta do the thing. And then when you do the thing, you'll figure it out. Ah! So, what's my point here? My point is this is really basic advice, but sometimes you need to hear basic advice because you forget it. Sometimes you need a guy to just walk up to you, grab you off the scruff of your neck and be like, the sky is blue, look, the sky is blue. And you might forget that if you live underground. You know, you might forget the color of the sky. You might think it's green or yellow. And that's so sad. Cause you gotta know what color the sky is. So, uh, the sky's blue, by the way. And you should do the thing that you're putting off because if you don't, then that resistance metastasizes and it becomes a part of your soul and someone near you will overcome resistance, not even entirely, but just for like a couple of days. And you will try to pay them a compliment and out of your mouth will drip a backhanded compliment that slaps them across the face because it's really an insult because that resistance has now become a part of your being. So, um, it's dark. Not necessarily. Some people aren't artistic and they don't care about this stuff at all. And if you're in the comments, uh, you know, comment about how, comment about my hair. Isn't that weird? What's going on here? 
or like some superficial element of the of the video like uh my the uh good one you good one greg you show those artists who's boss that'll be fun i'd up with that yeah put that in the comments that'll be fun you can you you guys can hang around but yeah it's no no pressure this is a uh, this is very low <laughs> it's gonna be low effort for me um low pressure for you you know if you're if you're interested in and art and philosophy and stuff, then I will talk about it here. Mainly for me. <laughs> like, I need to organize my thoughts about this stuff. It's my main primary motivator art. Um, so it's good for me to, like, say it out loud and remind myself and have some kind of routine on that note. But, you know, <laughs> if you're not, not going to be interested in it, don't watch it. And if you are, then watch it. And we'll all be, we'll all be good. This will be a nice little, fun little, little side project for me. All right? All right. Cool. Cool. Do the thing. Do the, do the, do the thing, do the, do the, do the thing, do it, do the thing.